so we have this here, but get this before the House Oversight Committee even released this report here. Republican committee members, they had their own report to, to release, calling it, quote, a sham investigation that ignored key facts. Yeah, our chief investigative reporter, Eric Flack, is also digging through all 271 pages of that Republican response that was released around 11 this morning. Eric, you've got that part of the story, too. I mean, you're holding the response, and it, it includes some damning emails and photos, all to make the case that Dan Snyder was not the problem? Yeah, you know, Les, to me, this is part of the most is interesting part of this story. Committee members pointing the finger squarely at general manager Bruce Allen. The 271-page memo from Republican Oversight Committee members included alleged emails between former Washington football general manager Bruce Allen sent from his work account to former Buccaneers and Raiders head coach John Gruden and others sharing sexist photos of women, including topless cheerleaders, mocking female referees, and using homophobic slurs. In fact, much of what we reviewed is not suitable for TV. The Republicans make the case it was Allen, not Commander's owner Daniel Snyder, who created and spread the organization's toxic workplace culture. Allen was fired in 2019 after 10 seasons with the team, and Republicans maintained it was Allen who controlled the team's day-to-day -day operations and released transcripts of portion of Daniel Snyder's 11 hours of testimony in which the owner denied allegations of sexual harassment and sexual assault and denied viewing explicit videos secretly recorded of cheerleaders. Republicans say Snyder was supportive of policy changes to protect employees, including Allen's removal, and highlighted testimony from former team exec Brian LaFamina, who said he had no knowledge of Snyder participating in or perpetuating a bad culture and did not see any evidence of financial fraud. The Republicans called the House oversight investigation, quote, an ends-oriented effort to take down an NFL team owner. What would those ends be? Well, we have just reached another layer in this incredibly changing story. Who's pulling the strings? Coming up tonight at 6, the elaborate conspiracy theory pushed by Republicans involving one of the leading candidates to buy the team, billionaire Jeff Bezos.